Today, I want to catch something absolutely ridiculous. And according to the catalog, there's even a small size fish worth 4200 I've never seen. But we know huge things are always better and I'm definitely compensating, so I need to find some of these. So it's gonna be a long day. We're gonna start with one of these, which we're gonna turn into something bigger if the mustard fish is feeling hungry, which he always is. Then since I have $144,000 to spend, we're gonna attach a rocket to the mustard fish and also a huge hook. And then we're actually gonna pay attention to this menu and realize we can unlock the mini map for $5,000. Also, I think I wanna try a diving lure and then another diving lure to make this thing go as deep as possible. So we're gonna send it way far out and imagine how deep this is gonna go with a giant hook and no i didn't think this through at all but hopefully we'll catch something good while we're down here like whatever that glow oh or that i'll take any of these things or nothing i do think i see something really really big but it's kind of hard to see does any fish want to bite and try and pay back my investment i mean yeah this will probably work so we could toss this into the boat which is worth ninety four hundred dollars or i could strap a huge hook and then a rocket to it and we'll send it out to see what it's gonna catch oh yeah i kind of forgot the biggest of fish just swim away once you cast them so that was about ten thousand dollars down the drain so far nothing that a few hours of my time won't make up for we're gonna do basically that same thing because i did see a pretty big fish over here but because I can't really be super picky right now, I guess we're going to take this fish, which doesn't seem super uncommon. Would you also like to bite? Yeah, there we Oh, the shark can bite it too. And I'm going to start uh, taking a profit while I can. Then I'm pretty much going to do that same thing because I know there's some valuable fish somewhere down there. Eventually, I'll be able to afford a better rod to go even deeper or further and find some new stuff. And at some point, maybe even some kind of a light so we can see what's way down here. I would... Ooh, can I bite that he literally just looked at it what's even on my rod i can't even see what we got oh that's probably new uh oh we gotta get past the shark but this is definitely a new fish i had no idea i hooked it oh and there's a hat we probably want a hat so this is a uh, feelish uh so that's worth twelve and a half thousand. get in the boat also how do we get that hat it's like straight below me here but good luck getting down to it with a little clever manipulation, we can lose our bait and get very frustrated. I just realized a bomb is probably the answer, though I'll also... Well, yeah, you guys just go ahead and eat everything I have. Bombs, in theory, will scare fish, but they won't scare a hat, because hats are not scared of bombs. So... There we go. Now we just got to find the hat again. In order to do that, I've rocketed the bomb out as far as I could go, so we can get down below the hat, hopefully. Don't bite that. Never mind. Well, he scared himself away, so maybe we can still find the hat. Or the shark could come and annoy us also. I think I've given up on the hat for now. The only way I'm going to catch a hat is by accident in this game, and that's probably my best strategy. I basically built this channel on happy accidents. How did we spend $40,000 already? I should probably start paying attention to what I'm doing. Anyways, let's send another mustard fish out on a rocket, because this strategy is clearly working for us. Oh, I'll take another one of these though. He just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And this will actually make my money back and then some. And we got a new rod upgrade unlocked for that. This is a tiger shark worth 85000 And I'm not even going to risk trying to cast it into the boat. I'm just going to carry it back to shore and sell it. So now we're up to $217,000. Which means we can unlock the great rod for 180000 And that suddenly seems like more of a decision I should have thought about first. Especially considering how expensive the upgrades are. A bait guard is $54,000. So what I'm going to do for now is buy scouting. That way if the fish eat my bait, it won't be uh, reeled in automatically. I'll still be able to catch hats. Then also a diving lure. And then I guess for now, a cast finesse. And actually improved crank. Increases reel speed. I'm a busy person. I did to see another hat right over here somewhere there it is i see the hat i've got the hat i don't know what the hat does medium fish are worth 30 percent more that works for me and so that means that mustard fish are now worth 585 i think i just sold my dainty hat by accident so we're gonna go ahead and buy that back and then we're gonna pretend that didn't happen i started out pretty rich today now i've got like two thousand dollars to my name though we did just catch one of these this is at least worth 3400 so we're gonna go ahead and sell it right now now it's just a matter of grinding up a little bit more money so we're actually able to catch some of the bigger stuff again i did just catch a sibyl fin which isn't actually worth that much so let's try that again because i know there's a big uh whatever this is here if he wants to actually catch that at some point or even this guy because that's an easy 7200 dollars get in the boat then i really feel like the best way for me to make money right now is to go as far out as i can then cast as far out as i can to go around this stupid fish 
all the way to the deep fish because down here is where the good stuff starts i've just got to avoid all the little ones along the way i don't want a shark though because a shark doesn't eat my bait i will take a happy orange fish for now though because that's just some easy money okay upgraded my bait size to this one so i'm gonna try very hard to catch the fish that's directly below me and that's working out not so great so far not exactly what i wanted but i'm not going to complain with a little bit more value so let's sell our current load of fish that was worth 13,100 which means i'm going to use my rocket mustard fish uh strategy to hopefully catch something a little more valuable this is a bit of a risk considering i don't really have any money but i do have luck on my side so hopefully we find something enormously valuable like whatever this thing is i haven't caught one of these yet so i'm assuming it's valuable uh, at least until that fish comes and eats it off the hook so now i guess we got one of these you know can we have a shark eat this thing i don't like this fish anymore i'll sit here all day and wait for a shark if i have to i don't care stupid fish eating my probably more valuable fish this is only worth 6500 i lost money on that cast whoops and we let it go it just gets better and better right now i don't want one of those okay we got another one of these this officially is my least favorite type of fish right now but at least we get to keep this one. Our quest right now is to catch three snobfish. They're this little purple guys, so we're gonna focus on that for a sec. While also catching a little gold tang fin that happened to be right below the boat. Okay, I just saw another hat uh, down below me, so what I can actually do is use this. Something's gonna eat this to turn it back into a hook, and then I can catch the hat. Oh, I'm almost... Okay, we're gonna move the boat, eat the rest of that. Uh, that didn't really work. But my strategy is okay. The hat is directly below me. I kind of just need something to steal my bait and not eat the fish. For now, I did catch three quarters of a gawker. Probably been, would have been worth a little more had it been a complete fish. But the other fish kind of suck right now. But if I can get one of these medium-sized fish, perfect to take a bite and then not catch a little one along the way, the hat's gone. Okay, well, I just sold everything I had on board because I just want to catch some snob fish to complete the quest. That way I can unlock better stuff. Uh, I found the shark again oh what was that big thing i want whatever that thing was and the shark came back to finish me off but maybe while i'm down here i could find a hat there's that weirdo again and some glow in the dark fish also never seen these before makes me wonder how many fish are still out there that i haven't seen but we're gonna go like this and move across the bottom very slowly looking for hats and enjoying scenic views of the fish didn't manage to find any hats but i have caught a few more fish in the meantime for just a little more money and since i'm back up to about 40 grand let's spend five thousand four hundred dollars on another rocket mustard mustard rocket it doesn't matter how you pronounce it it's a stupid idea either way hopefully we find Find something really big down here i would also settle for anything at all at this point and the shark once again ate my bait so this time i'm gonna try and catch the shark i'm gonna try and hook some kind of medium to large size fish perfect my least favorite fish so we're gonna feed him to the shark or potentially one of these hungry looking fish there's another fish that's the size of the screen would also like one of those at some point every time i'm looking for the shark he doesn't show up oh there he is eat my fish come on Come on, is it too big? I've caught the only fish in the ocean that the damn shark doesn't want to eat. But you know what? That's totally fine because what is this fish worth? Like $17? That's actually not that bad, but I really only made $1,100 profit. Okay, I was screwing around and discovered a pokey fish down there, but also I caught whatever this is. So I just need to get it back to the surface without having it being devoured by too many other... Yep, everyone get a bite. Might as well. So... That's a bulb fish, but it didn't count because it got eaten on the way up. Well, that's as good as it's going to get for now. I'll catch a good one later. So there's also this swordfish that's burning around up at the top. You can kind of see at the edge of the screen. Kind of hoping he swims by right here, but he hasn't yet. But he's getting closer. Come on. Oh, he's so close. I'm not actually sure if he wants to eat this bait because he's been pretty close to it and usually fish to get that close eat it managed to get another one of these on the hook was kind of hoping the shark would want to eat this thing but i don't think it's gonna so i'm gonna also annoy the fish like they annoy me and drag it all the way back to shore just like this and this is worth an easy 3400 i decided to try something a little bit different and casted some small size bait all the way down to the darkness and i'm pretty sure whatever that big blob is just ate my bait or potentially whatever fish i'm holding on to well, I had a fish. Oh, now I've got a shark, which turned into one of these, which I don't know if we've caught yet. So it actually might be kind of valuable. It's a Leo fish, which is worth $8,580. Get in the boat. And then I've hooked one of these, which I think is pretty valuable, depending on how many bites is taken out of it. This is another $3,250, which is good enough for me because I'm poor. Also, it is reeled in another little tank fin for $4,160, so I'm going to sell for now, and then we're going to see what kind of money I actually have. Just under fifty grand, which is almost enough for the bait guard, which is the one thing I want right now because I'm really sick of small fish 
eating bigger bait. So I've casted some bigger bait way out here to hopefully catch something new, but I got scared there, so I'm going to pull it back to the surface. Hopefully without ruining it, or I'll take that guy. Yeah, these are... Well, we'll take that one too. I thought that was more valuable. All right, well, hope you like rockets because you're going out. And we caught one of these idiots, which is even less valuable. So I hope you also like rockets. You're going to the moon. And we caught the most annoying fish in the world. I'm pretty sure that's the one I need to be catching for my quest. To be fair, this is worth 6,500. So as long as I'm not using a $5,000 hook to catch them, it's actually pretty good profit. And then once it's out of the way, I have a little more room to get this down deep to the good fish. Still want to try one of these. We finally have one, so let's get him to the surface before he gets devoured. This one is a sizzler, and I got a new rod upgrade unlocked. I didn't really see the value of him, so you just get in the boat. And this baby sizzler followed him to the surface. Uh, this one's worth 11000 so I'm going to bring it back. So for the few fish I have on my boat, we're going to sell for $23,000. And the new rod upgrade we have is retract. Reel in your line more quickly after a failed cast. More effective at longer distances. That's kind of nice because it can take a long time to get your thing back if it's failed. Then we finally have enough for bait guards. Small fish are unable to eat large bait. Now I'll be able to... Nope, I don't want to do that. I'll be able to catch more big fish and get more money. Because now I can comfortably cast medium-sized bait out into a pool of small fish and they can't do a thing about it. I don't know what it's going to take to catch that swordfish. Oh, apparently it's a huge fish, so it means it needs a huge hook, which I just so happen to be able to buy. So if that swordfish wants to take a bite of this now, I'm all for it. Might need to be a little bit deeper. Oh, never mind. This guy wanted the huge hook instead. So that was a fun waste of $5,000. Luckily for you guys, I just never learn. We're going to do that again until we get a damn swordfish. Bite it. It was close. As long as I mm, steer it away from other fish. I don't even know if this is going to work. I just think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work because he should have bitten on that big time. Oh, I get it. He's got a spear a little fish with his nose. So it's like a live bait thing. We need a small fish as live bait. But just because I don't really want to waste this large hook, I'm going to go back out to the deep water. Also because I'm envisioning how frustrating that's going to be to get the swordfish and I just don't really want to dive into it at this moment. This guy looks hungry. I would happily take one of these. Bite it, stupid. Do it. Get on there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bite it, please. I don't want a weak fish biting it. Oh, I actually caught it. Wasn't sure that was going to work, but I feel like this is going to be a pretty valuable fish. And that's really good because being stupid is very expensive. 14,000? That's not nearly enough. And I think it's turning into nighttime. So for now, we're going to sell him and hopefully be able to still catch fish at night. Though clearly different varieties of them. And it's very hard to see. But this is going to have some interesting opportunities. Like having almost no fish available to catch. I decided to just turn it back into daytime again because there was no little fish to use at bait during the night. So now I can focus on trying to get that swordfish to spear a little fish. And while I was messing around, I managed to catch one of the red fish, which I'm pretty sure is pretty valuable. $7,200, easy money. Now it's just a matter of very patiently waiting for that swordfish to apparently spear into this. And while I'm doing this, I'm trying to avoid the bigger fish, which will in fact eat this one right off the Hook. Trying to determine if there's anything of a pattern to the swordfish, and so far, not really. He was out by like a millimeter. Mm, I keep moving it just out of the way. I'm just gonna leave it right here for a minute. Oh, he speared it right off the hook. I think I need a bigger hook. Okay, so whoops. Did I just lose my hook? Yep, that was an easy $5,000 loss. Luckily, I just don't learn my lesson. So we're gonna take a little fish and get it down to swordfish depth very carefully oh, oh i almost speared him there too that would have been perfect so then i'm just going to keep it in swordfish territory and then eventually once he hooks it we'll catch ourselves just so close well we spent five thousand dollars just buy a 65 dollar cuttlefish so i'm going to send a few bombs down to clear out some of the more annoying fish for a second because i'm learning which definitely includes anything here yep go ahead and bite that and get out of the way i casted the big hook down i'm not sure i'm deep enough to even be able to spear a swordfish but we're gonna wait right over here because he seems to come to the surface right here sometimes for such a casual fishing game i am very stressed out about this this is very hard to do and we caught the wrong fish again unless the swordfish can also spear this one which he might be able to we're going to try and find out. Because as long as I have one of these on the line, nothing else in the neighborhood can really eat this one. Oh, it's so close. Okay, confirmed. The swordfish cannot spear a medium-sized fish. It has to be a small one with a big hook. So then we're going to settle for turning that into this because, well, three quarters of that. So on my $5,000 investment, we made $1,625 back. But I'm still... Oh, wait, what? Shouldn't I have caught the swordfish? 
He speared it off, but I have a big hook on. I guess that's not how it works. I thought I was going to catch a $180,000 fish. He did it again. He didn't... It had the big hook on and everything. This was a pretty good cast. I got it pretty deep. Uh, so we're going to see if we can get something pretty big down here. Like a glow-in-the-dark fish. Oh, I got to get this to the surface. This is going to be worth something. Uh, unless a shark's going to come along and take it from me. And I also don't have a big hook, so I'm pretty sure I'm also not going to get the shark. But I will settle for this sucky fish. I really appreciate how deep it was now because it takes forever to reel up one of these fish. This is worth $11,000 getting the boat. So I'm going to turn the profit from that fish into a rocket huge hook. Hopefully actually catching the damn shark that keeps taking my bait. All I've got to do is hook a medium sized fish and then get the shark to bite it. And I'm pretty sure I can catch it unless I'm misunderstanding how to do that. So this could be good. Just got to find the shark. I think I did it. I think I got the shark. He's coming with me now. This is going to be worth some money. It's about time. Things just worked out to the point where I could get him. And it's worth $64,000 and I will take that. Not only for the value, but just to get him out of the way because he's the most annoying fish in existence. So now that the idiot shark is out of the way, let's try that again. All we need to do is avoid dumb medium fish along the way. Which is going to get hard because suddenly I just realized I can't really see what's down this deep. So we're just going to kind of hope this works out. I got a glow in the dark fish, so we should be able to get this one. Provided nothing bigger eats it along the way, we're going to get full value. Lumina, $15,600, get in the boat. So one of our quests right now is to catch the maw, which is that really big fish down there. It feeds on the bulb fish that thrives there, so I don't even know what the bulb fish is. Okay, so you need to hook a very tiny bulb fish way down there, and then hopefully the big one swims into range, so we're going to try it. I assume that means we'll need a huge hook. The tricky part about this is you can't hook any other fish on the way down. So it's a $5,000 gamble every time. And as soon as that happens, you're out of luck. But I have $65,000 in a dream. Plus, I think I have a not bad strategy to do this. I know there's not as many fish out as far as I can cast right now. So if I can get this to the bottom, uh, avoiding the few fish out here and hook one of the little fish, I can make this work. I just got to find one of the glowy fish. Oh, you're a glowy fish. Get on there. Oh, you're also a glowy fish. Okay. Oh, okay. I see how that... Uh... Right. I got excited and that all fell apart very quickly. It was working though. My plan works. Just not really that well because now I have one of these. You want to bite it also, big fish? Come on, sucky fish. Bite it too. Yeah, there we go. We're going to work our way up the fish chain. So at least in exchange for my $5,000, we got whatever this one is, which is worth $11,000. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to get bigger for a while. Great. Here we go again. Need to catch one of the little glowy fish without hooking anything else along the way, which is very hard to do because I can't see a thing. And I think I'm about to lose my bait because this big idiot is very, very obsessed with me now. We haven't caught one of him yet, so he's probably also very valuable. You bite it. Okay, so now we can at least kind of see what's going on. I thought he would at least be able to hook it. Can I get a medium fish? There. Hmm. How do we catch one of these? I look away for one second. What even happened? I did get a new rod upgrade though because I hit level 21. Get in the boat. So that unlocked bomb stack, which means I can stack five bombs. Instead of that, I think I want an extra diving lure. But I'm very committed to catching one of these stupid maws. So I'm going <laughs> to keep wasting $5,000 at a time until we get there. Before doing that, I'm going to remove these medium-sized fish that are so annoying. Okay, so far so good. Just need to avoid absolutely everything until we're at the very bottom. And I've already caught the attention of the wrong fish. Come on, bite it. Oh, I can't avoid this thing forever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, well, there's another $5,000 well spent. And it just gets better and better. Well, at least I can work my way up the fish chain this way. Because this will bite, and then I'll be able to catch it. And then the bigger fish will bite this. Uh, well, good enough for me. Do you want to bite that too, sir? There we go. Not what I was looking to catch, but I'll take it. It is worth $9,400. The entire value of my boat right now is twenty grand, Or 31000 so whatever. That's fine. Going to employ a slightly different strategy for a second. I'm going to start using some bombs to clear out some of the other fish that are in the neighborhood. That way, I should hopefully have a stress-free time getting to the bottom, and that includes that idiot. And apparently, I'm going to catch one of these along the way. That's actually one of the snob fish that I needed. I'm hoping all the bombs I just used cleared out most of the stupid fish that I don't want to catch along the way. I'm trying to use my radar as much as possible to hopefully avoid the fish I don't want. This might actually work out okay. I don't know if I'm going to get deep enough to find a glowy fish, though. There are some out there. Oh, that one might bite. Bite it. Bite it. 
Yeah, there we go. Now we just gotta wait for Big Boy to show up. The swordfish speared my fish off the line. What are the odds of that happening? You know how expensive that was? Wait, wait, I could probably still catch another one though. Because I'm pretty sure the swordfish speared the fish but left the bait on the hook. The odds of that are just stupidly low. I can't believe that just happened. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Never mind. Well, since we're down here, do we have any other large fish that want to bite this thing? What about that fish that might be dead? You hungry, sir? Are you another one? Do you bite these? Yeah, there we go. No idea what this thing is. Definitely never caught one before, but I'm excited about it. This is a brimble worth only 8,500, but I'll take it. I also just found that's the last quest fish I need. I really need to catch that fish so I can move on with my other quests. And I accidentally just caught an $11,000 fish, but I need to find another one like right now. Well, it appears to be gone, but I did catch another one of these. Uh, due to a weird series of events, I hooked a puffer fish accidentally, and then the swordfish speared the puffer fish, and I think I'm catching them both. I don't really know what's happening right now, but this is actually going to be super valuable. This was absolutely a mistake, but like I said, I pretty much get by on happy accidents. Uh, I also gonna sell that for $180,000. Do I also get the value for the puffer fish? Because I would kind of like that as well. This fish is still chilling on land. So we're going to sell all this. $197,000. So those series of circumstances are probably never ever going to accidentally happen again. But I'm okay with that because that accidentally made me super rich. And now I'm just kind of hanging out way down deep with a stupid fish on the line, hoping to catch maybe a shark or anything at all of value. But I might kind of just have to settle for nothing at all. Although I did catch another one of these orange guys who happened to be hanging out with a modest 8,500. Okay, this could be a good one. I've hooked one of the glowy fish. Now it's time to find one of the big mo- Oh, I think that's it right there, actually. Are you coming up here, sir? I would really like to catch you before my thing gets speared by another fish. Oh, I can see the tail of it. I think it's too deep. Oh, good. We caught one of these again. The $400 fish. Pretty sure I can feed that to this guy, and this guy's worth 11 grand. And I just realized you can actually get better boats that can probably take you farther from shore, because the one I'm using can't travel far from shore. So what's further out? One good boat it is. Still have $130,000 left. And yeah, I definitely feel like we went a little bit further out this time. And I get the feeling we're gonna find some better fish out here somewhere. Uh, pretty sure this is one of my quest fish. That's definitely one of the quest fish. This sure was. I got $1,000 for that reward. But there's also a new fish somewhere right here. There it is. It keeps swimming around. Looks a little bit like a shark, so I kind of want that. This might be very valuable. This is only worth $2,000, but I'll take it. And I'm simply gonna take another puffer fish because I want to see what the value of it by itself is. Only 2,000. So we're gonna rocket it way out deep into uncharted water to hopefully catch something bigger. Like whatever these things are? I don't know if I should try and feed this to a bigger fish or not. I don't know how valuable this thing is. This is worth 4,100, so whatever, that's fine. I definitely hooked something that looks like this. There's a bigger fish right there that I kind of wish I hooked instead, but I'll settle for this. This is worth 12,500. Okay, this was a good cast. I got big bait on a big hook. So hopefully whatever the big fish was that I almost caught on that last cast is down here somewhere where I can catch him instead. I am trying to avoid the... Th oh, did we get him? We got him. I don't know what this is, but I've definitely never caught one of these either, and I feel like it's valuable. So this was a moga or something? $180,000. Moga, one eighty. dollars It's still not a ma or anything, but a ma is still a lot harder to catch than whatever this is. So we're going to go ahead and sell all this, which puts us up to 315000 And that means next time we'll be able to buy a stupider thing and catch even bigger fish. 